टूडे अवर टॉपिक इज ऑस्टियो प्रोसेस एंड आई एम डॉक्टर वसीम सजाद एंड वी विल डिस्कस हाउ ऑस्टियो प्रोसेस अपीयर्स ऑन इमेजिंग एंड हाउ वी कैन डायग्नोज ऑस्टियो प्रोसेस ऑन एक्स रेज एंड अदर रेडियोलॉजिकल इमेजिंग मोडलिटीज फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल वी नीड टू नो वट इज ऑस्टियो प्रोसेस अकॉर्डिंग टू वर्ल्ड हेल्थ ऑर्गेनाइजेशन osteoporosis is decreased bone density now we need to quantify how much this decreased bone density we label as osteoporosis who defines that if the mean bone mineral density of an individual is 2.5 standard deviations less than the mean bone mineral density of a healthy young individual then we label it as osteoporosis but this figure is not applicable in children in children we label osteoporosis when the mean bone mineral density of the skeleton is two standard deviations or more than two standard deviations below then the mean bone mineral density of a child of that particular age and that particular gender so that's the general defi- definition of osteoporosis so before osteoporosis there are different stages which leads to osteoporosis if the mean bone mineral density of an individual is one standard deviation below than the mean of the normal individual then we don't label it as osteoporosis it's a normal limit if the bone mineral density is 1 to 2.5 standard deviations below than the mean bone mineral density of a healthy young individual then we label it as osteopenia if the mean bone mineral density of a patient is more than 2.5 standard deviations below then the normal individual then we label it as osteoporosis that's the theoretical definition of osteoporosis so as a radiologist our task is how by viewing an x-ray or viewing a radiograph or ct scan image we can tell that the patient is suffering from osteoporosis or not for measuring mean bone mineral density dexa scan is performed but in this lecture we limit our discussion on radiographs and ct scan images so let's discuss the signs of osteoporosis on x rays the first sign we see on x ray is decreased bone density but it is important to know that on an x-ray or radiograph the bone density appears decreased when the bone mineral density is already decreased more than 50% of the normal when we suspect a decreased bone mineral density on an x-ray it means the osteoporosis has already progressed and developed so there are different reasons of osteoporosis osteoporosis is of primary type and secondary type the primary type is senile osteoporosis which happens in the old age then there is post menopausal osteoporosis which occurs in females after 10 to 15 years of menopause after menopause the estrogen level decreases when the estrogen levels in the blood decreases the bone density decreases and osteoporosis develops similarly in old age after 70 and 75 years the bone mineralization is affected the bone mineralization stops and then osteoporosis develops and the osteoporosis can also be due to secondary reasons these secondary reasons are endocrine pathologies like hyperthyroidism hyperparathyroidism there is growth hormone deficiency 
and these secondary reasons are nutritional deficiencies there is ma there is mal absorption of the essential vitamins and essential components which are required for bone formation these secondary reasons can also be due to hereditary reasons and hematological reasons like thalassemias and sickle cell disease so on imaging we can't differentiate whether the osteoporosis is due to primary reasons and are due to secondary reasons unless we are provided with proper history of the patient so now we discuss what images and what areas of the skeleton we need to image to diagnose osteoporosis on x rays we need to look the mean bone density it should be less then the x rays of the appendicular skeleton are most important especially the vertebras the sacrum and the hip bones due to osteoporosis there can be insufficiency fractures we need to identify the insufficiency fractures the most common insufficiency fractures occur in the pubis bone then in the sacrum then in the iliac bones then in the long bones like femur and tibia we need to know that sequence similarly we also know how these insufficiency fractures appear in sacrum the insufficiency fracture appears parallel to the sacroiliac joint it appears as h shaped defect and we call it as insufficiency fracture and this fracture line runs parallel to the sacroiliac joint similarly vertebras are very important to diagnose osteoporosis vertebras appear as wedge shaped biconcave or they can appear as h shaped or cord fish like vertebras so biconcave vertebras appear when the interior upper and posterior end plates of the vertebra due to decreased bone density are depressed and concavity appears similarly wedge shaped vertebra appears when the anterior ends of the vertebra are more depressed similarly the crush deformity of the vertebra appears if the posterior part of the vertebral body is more depressed so for osteoporosis we need to visualize the appendicular skeleton especially vertebras especially the sacrum especially the pubis bones and especially emphasis on the insufficiency fractures